right hand top here. Okay. okay, I will. Well, good morning. Good morning. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. This feels like a high holy day. I've got two very important deacons. I have. I don't know you that well, but let me tell you something. You've got a reputation around here. I'm not going to get into that one, but I just, that's right. I would too. <laughs> And we have this little one over here who is just a little ball of energy. I've never called you a little one before. I'm sorry. You have a ball of energy. So let us take a moment this day on this memorial of Blessed Kateri and ask the Lord to be with us this morning. Lord, you came to heal the confide of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you come to forgive sins. Brothers, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, you would proceed for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who desired the Virgin, Blessed Kateri, to flower among Native Americans in a life of innocence, Grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church from every nation, tribe, and tongue, they may magnify you in a single canticle of praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian. Loading, leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire, flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. 
When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses, he answered, here I am. God said, come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, Isaac, the God of Jacob. The cry of the children of Israel has reached me, and I have truly noted that the Egyptians are oppressing them. Come now. I will send you to Pharaoh to lead my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? He answered, I will be with you, and this shall be your proof. That is I, that it is I who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all my being, bless his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He, pardon, he pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading this morning from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father. Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little children. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and to them whom the Son reveals him to. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. I'm not going down these steps, so don't get nervous. <laughs> They warned me, no, you cannot go down there. You may remember, by the way, I'm Deacon Bob. Uh, spent 20 years here at St. Joseph. <laughs> 20 years is the first time anybody clapped. <laughs> but I'm not used to preaching from the pulpit. I spent my life preaching from below. And, uh, 
well, let's see how this goes. But I want to thank the parish and Father. And Father, thank you so much for your allowing me to do this. Uh, this was not really planned that long ago, but uh, uh, about four years ago, my wife and I had to leave and go home to our family because at the time I, we had a very ill daughter who uh, passed away. And our other children asked if we would remain home. Uh, they were worried about us. We were hitting the, oops. Maybe I should yell louder. But uh, I, we both were getting to the 90 range in, in age, and we thought about GPS for the children and for us to be there with them, and it did work out that way. And uh, Eileen, my wife, passed away earlier this year. Uh, and so, uh, since then, I don't know what to do with myself. She had to tell me everything to do. I never realized how much she told me to do. But she, uh, she did a good job. She uh, left me with a daughter, my, my daughter Jennifer, who's uh, chaperone. And she's just like her mother, believe me. <laughs> but I, coming down, it was just something I think, uh, maybe you have experienced the same thing. You, you, have, you have to do something. You want to do something. And I wanted to come back to St. Joe's. And Eileen wanted to come back only, you know, God had other plans for her, but we had talked about, we're coming back down here because we love St. Joseph. I love you. I, I think of you. I talk about you. I pray for you. Uh, we had 20 wonderful years here at St. Joseph. Wonderful years. Wonderful priests. Uh, the parish is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, a little background for some of the, the, well, I was here for 10 of the years, I was associated with the food pantry. And uh, that is the greatest ministry uh, you could ever have. If ever they need help, fight to get over there and work with them because what you're doing for the poor is so much, it's just what Christ asked us to do, love one another. And that's a good way of loving each other, with those people that we can help. So that was a great ministry, I'm sure it still is. I hear it's going bigger and better. Uh, even with all the uh, viruses going around. So uh, this parish, and, and this, I also got involved. At, if, I, if I go over my time, you have to yell at me, Father, okay? Please, yes, get up and start going on. I've been known to go over time. So. But I also got involved in a ministry that I never thought I would be. But uh, thanks to John, I got into the prison ministry. And these are so many different ministries than just the normal ones that you get involved in and do what you do. And the wonderful part about the whole thing was, you just did it with us. It wasn't us, the, the deacon or the priest that they really did this, you did it. That's what was so great about this parish. I mean, it's a wonderful, people are so faithful and so willing to live the gospel. They have Christ in them and this, you just, I can't believe it when I tell people up in New Jersey about it. They just can't believe it. My daughter and I, every uh, Good Friday, we, I, I don't know what you call it, but we have contact with you here when you do the tomb, uh, Friday, Friday evening. And we still watch it and we have people up there watching it. We loved it so much. It was so meaningful to us. Uh, you have a wonderful, wonderful parish. You, you are so faithful and so loving and caring that it's unbelievable and I, I thank you and I thank you for all the prayers because I do many times call down or email I can do that I, I can do email my, my cell phone I'm sorry I, I don't know how to turn it on and then when it gets on I don't know how to turn it off so <laughs> it, it's a, a little problem that way but uh, it, it's just something that you grow with and I, I want to just share with you, in my email, I started down here, you know, we all have some kind of a sign-off, they call it, but mine is, Christ, be with you. Family, faith, and friends should be your life. That's what you should be looking for in your life. When you first get Christ, which I know you have, then you take it and carry it forward to everybody. Friends, especially, I've heard so many uh, of us are not feeling too well these days. 
and I ask you to pray for all your fellow parishioners who are hospitalized, home care, or wherever it may be, to pray for them and help them and be with them. Don't forget them. They need it more than anything now. Uh, I'm sure you'll use the bulletin. Uh, every time, every week it has it. I know I get the bulletin and I read who's sick and who's not, and you have them there. Pray for them, help them, be with those people who are listed in the bulletin. That's what we're needed for. That's where Christ comes in our lives to be with them. But what I also say, and I've done this many times, be bold, be Catholic. Now, just think about that. I'm asking you to be bold. Take it off your death when you have to get off and speak up on things. Be part of it. That's our faith. Christ didn't sit back and just let things go on. He went on and told us his faith plan all along, whether they liked it or not. And you and I have to be that way, especially today. I'm so glad to read in your bulletin about your Respect Life program here still goes on. And that, that's a wonderful thing for us, especially in these days where uh, the abortionists are starting to smile again because they think they're gonna go get their way. But our prayers, our involvement, has got to stop all that kind of stuff. And uh, if anybody can do it, you can do it here because of who you are and what you've been. So I ask you to be bold and be Catholic. Don't sit back, don't skid up if you're tough, somebody needs you. Push you around, push yourself to do it. Don't just say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or something like that. I, I came here because I felt so, I feel so at home because you're so faithful, you're so caring. Uh, I was going through people's names and looking at you, some of you still sit where you did when I, when I was here. <laughs> I remember saying this, when we were back to New Jersey uh, with my daughter, we were going to Mass up there, and I was looking out and said, oh my gosh, she's still sitting there, and he's still there. It must be what we have as Catholics. We have to, we get a seat and that's our seat, so we'll sit there and be there, part of it. But it's so important for us, and, and I thank Father uh, for allowing me to say a few words and, and bother, bore you up here, but. It's, it's so important, and I found Christ years ago. I was not a guy who went to church too much as a young guy, but I found it. I found it, uh, actually, I guess it really got to me. You know, I spent three years in the Marine Corps, and I found a stronger faith at that time, realizing the value of life uh, as part of the military. And I have such respect for our military. And I also have a God and country and a play home that I like to use all the time. God is so much of our life. Everything we do, every day. We don't realize it sometimes. And I guess my message today when I say be bold, be Catholic, is make sure Christ is part of your life every day. Why aren't you doing what you don't do? I remember one day we were riding by at a, a, a funeral and I blessed myself. And the guy with me said, what are you blessing yourself for? I said, I'm not blessing me. I'm blessing that soul. I said, we forget those things. It's old-fashioned. Well, I'm in my 90s, so it should be old-fashioned. But we need these little things. We, we need to, because you can see today society is trying to push us away again. Don't let them push us away. Be faithful. Be prayerful. Be Christ-like. It's, it's very lonely without Christ. Try someday. Don't, don't pray or something. And there's something. Say it to yourself, what the heck's going on with me? I forgot my prayers today. I didn't do that. Make sure that you're part of the faith here. This is a wonderful parish. You are wonderful people. Uh, coming down here uh, has just been wonderful for me. Uh, and I know my wife is praying for you because she loved living here so much. She loved being part of St. Joseph's Parish. And I can remember many times going around in this town and people say, oh, you're from St. Joseph. Yes, I'm from St. Joseph. And it was just, it, I enjoyed going to many of the churches for meetings on behalf of the food pantry. <laughs> they said, what are, what are you doing up there St. Joseph? Well, I was the end of them for a half hour. <laughs> and that's what we do at St. Joseph. And, and it's not, it's for you doing that. This is what Christ asks us to go out, go out and do it. 
And I thank you for doing it because, you know, here I am now, well, it's about four years, I guess, uh, since we went to, back to New Jersey. And by the way, speaking of New Jersey, you know today is a special day in this parish when you have two deacons from New Jersey at the service. You're blessed in a special way. The Jersey guys are here. I can remember every time we go into the sacristy, they say, here comes the guy from Jersey. <laughs> It's faith, it's living the Christ like, living the Christ like. Every part of your life, you do it, keep doing it. I thank you for doing it. I thank you for all you've given me and my family over these years. St. Joseph is as good as St. Leo's in our house. You're part of our lives. And I hope you will remain faithful here and continue to be a parish that everybody knows as, oh, you're from St. Joseph. Thank you, and God bless all of you. Let us pray, warm by the bright mystery of God, we pray for our needs and the needs of the church and the world for the church that the baptized have eyes watchful for the glory of the most high we pray Lord, hear our prayer. for the nations that world leaders have ears attentive to the call of god from the wilderness we pray Lord, hear our prayer May the sick and dying know that they are not alone, but that they have a share in the sufferings and the passion of Christ, we pray. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God all our prayers and intercessions. We pray for the recently deceased, our departed loved ones, and for Rosalia Antonio and Frank Beretta, whom we remember in a special way in this liturgy. We pray. And for these and all the intentions in our hearts, we present them as always through Christ our Lord. Amen. For blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. 
and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. For it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal <clears throat> covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. For therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, and with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And the spirits share the peace of our Christ with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. For behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Before we conclude today, I just want to let you all know that in honor of Deacon Bob, we are having a coffee and donuts over in the parish center, north of here, and that'll be after Mass. So, coffee and donuts after Mass in the parish center, I'm sure he'd like to see all of you, and you'd like to, all would like to see him, and you can just sit there and chatter, chatter, chatter till the day is over. Well. Okay? The Lord be with you. Oh, wait a minute here. Let us pray. All mixed up. For having consumed these gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I celebrate the death of Continue over the center. Go in peace, the love and serve the Lord. Amen.